As an iPhone photographer who shoots in RAW using manual settings, I'm always very keen to check out any sort of product, any sort of accessory that could make shooting easier, quicker, more fun, more convenient, all of those sorts of words. So I'm very excited to check out a product that will apparently do all of those things, the Fjorden Grip. Now, you might be thinking, Dave, that doesn't look like a typical grip. And you'd be right, you don't put your phone in the grip, you put the grip onto your phone via either an adhesive plate or Fjordan's MagSafe case. And it also doesn't work like a typical grip either. Let me show you exactly what I mean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my hand, put it behind my back, this hand is not gonna move, and I'm gonna take my photo in RAW with manual settings in the Fjordan app and the Fjordan grip completely one-handed. Hey Siri, launch Fjordan. So Fjordan's gonna launch and this is the Fjordan app. I don't think the Fjordan grip is on. If I just press the shutter, the Fjordan grip will come on. It's because I've been talking to, for you for so long, it's gone into standby mode. And you see that little dial appears there. And if I press in the dial on the back of the grip, I can choose which setting I interact with. So start with my ISO like I usually do, go down to lowest possible ISO. I, uh, what's it called? White balance is uh, fine at 6,100. Shutter speed though, I want to protect those highlights. So um, let's go like 200th of a second, something like that. I can also change the camera. Three times three, no thank you. Back to one, 0 0.5, back to one. And see how my settings actually come back to what they were, which I really, really like. And I can also change from raw to hive and then back to raw again, which is very, very cool. So now I will just focus there like that by hard pressing the shutter down, recompose, and then take my photo. Easy as that, and that is the Fjordan grip in action. And that was an extreme example. You don't have to use it completely one-handed. But for me, that was actually peak use case for the Fjordan grip, because when I'm out shooting, I like to walk around with my phone at the ready when I see a composition. I don't like to have it in my pocket, put it away, take it out again, things like that. Plus, it's also a lot more comfortable and secure in the hand than its ultra slim profile suggests. And it also comes with a wrist strap. So you don't have to worry about drops and you get a hand back whenever you should need one. Fundamentally, the Fjordan grip is about convenience because it isn't going to improve your photography. And while you can use it as a stand like this, it doesn't technically do anything that you can't already do in third party iPhone camera apps. It simply offers a more convenient workflow. So what would you pay for this convenience? Well, you can go to shop.fjordan.co right now and pick yourself up a Fjordan grip and MagSafe case as part of a bundle costing around £200. And as iPhone camera accessories go, that is steep. Or is it? You see, I've been thinking about who the grip is actually for and who is most likely going to want and appreciate what it can do. And it is those DSLR photographers who are making the leap over to iPhone photography for the first time. And they used to spend in hundreds, if not thousands of pounds on camera bodies, lenses, tripods, filters, bags, memory cards, computers, editing software, things like that. Photography is not cheap. So when you used to spend in that amount of money and all of a sudden you've sold all that gear, coming over to iPhone photography and you want to kit out your iPhone, you want to make that transition easier for yourself, all of a sudden, 200 pounds for this seems more reasonable. Plus the Fjordan camera app is free. There's no one-time purchase. There's no subscription fee. The sales of the grip fund the development of the app. And it is a well-featured camera app in its own right, whether you have a grip or not. Plus it has all of the manual exposure settings that DSLR photographers are used to. So they should like it. But if they don't, then the grip also works well with Obscura and Pro Camera. Hi everyone, sorry to interrupt. Future Dave here, just out taking the thumbnail for this, for this video actually. And I've just noticed as I've been playing around with the app, something that I'm sure this wasn't happening before, but it's definitely worth mentioning if people are looking to check this out app. Check this out app, oh my gosh. Check this app out for manual usage. You'll see when I change the shutter speed, it jumps up massively, 5,000 to, to 3,000, 2,000. That I'm, 
those was it always did it always jump that much i don't know but if it does hmm, that's that's not great also when i change the iso the shutter speed also reacts which it shouldn't do whether it's with the app or in the fjord and grip itself so i definitely think that's worth mentioning i'm sure that wasn't happening before because I, I would have brought attention to that straight away if it was this is why we interrupt back to previous me but for the best, most seamless Fjordan experience, and it is a seamless experience, it is so well integrated. This is a great, harmonious marriage between hardware and software that Fjordan have designed and engineered here. It's really, really impressive, extremely reliable experience. Then there is nothing better than the Fjordan camera app. So if you fall into the category of photographer that I've been describing, then the Fjordan grip is well worth a look. But if you don't, then it's not unless I'm getting this massively wrong and I'm wildly misreading the room. I'm sure you'll tell me if I am. 